Type techniques and okay. um, trigger point work, mm -hmm. and um, but I, I call myself a McTimney right back person. And when you're, you know, like you were looking at Sam there, kind of running around and stuff. Are you you're atten attempting to identify spots where there's um, misalignments or abnormality in gait? Okay. So um, and it can be. To an untrained eye, it can be, you know, how can she think, see that? But you, you, when you see enough horses move, you, you know, you know what's normal. And, and Lucinda's quite got quite a good eye. So she, we could both see the same spot, if you like. Um, so, um, but it it just that then gives you clues as to where to work. So, you know, I know this horse is a bit tight in his neck because I treated him before and from being ridden Lucinda's given me all that information but um, now I, I'll be definitely looking at the wither area behind the shoulder that sort of thing sometimes you have to work while it releases. <laughs> And what would you imagine that that would feel like? Yeah, is I it? think what it does is it puts a shot of energy into the joint. Because in a horse, the vertebrae are down here, the vertebrae aren't here. So I am actually working directly on the transverse process of the vertebrae there. So everybody thinks the vertebrae are right up here in a horse, but they're not, they're all down here. So um, by adjusting, as I just did with that little flicking motion you put I'm not looking to actually physically move the bone what I'm trying to do is give it a little what we call a toggle but it's just a very small energetic um, bit of energy into the joint and that allows the muscle and nerves to just relax a bit and then you can see the change in the eye quite often. Um, but with the history of this horse, he's, he's had this area be an issue for quite some time because he's been ridden and drawing and things okay, yeah. um, previous to the syndrome. And so um, it's really been an issue for him, this area. So we, we just keep working on it and it gets better each time. He wasn't so reactive with that mm. one, which is interesting. So, so I'm just going to ask him to bend round this one. Good boy. That's a good sign. So. He's still quite tight, isn't it? In the reaction in the muscle. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing a session, are you doing certain things just as a matter of course? as just part of an overall session or you know are you doing that specifically now because it's Sam um, yes um, I'm I'm picking my areas because okay. of Sam yeah um, I don't know I um, I try to work quite intuitively so I will there is a sort of um, structure you work to mm -hmm. but actually you don't have to stick to the structure you can do I think so with one of the horses earlier I did an awful lot on its neck Right, okay. But quite a while. And sometimes I feel like um, I'll work an area, then that's had enough for a bit, so I'll go on to the next bit, and then I might go back again. 
but you just that's something you gain with experience really is knowing and generally a horse's first treatment will generally take longer than the follow-ups because you've usually got less to do in the follow-ups whereas if you haven't seen a horse before um, there, there might be more issues you come up against. <laughs> You can see the different reactions you get. It can be quite different. Where Sam put his head up, this one's going yeah. down. Yeah. I, he's t taking quite a lot on board at the moment. This is quite sort of submissive behaviour, I think. But, you know, he's quite, he's quite enjoying it, I think. Yeah, good boy. much is it? It doesn't tell you much. Please. Quite often when you adjust the neck they will lick and chew but he's tight lipped aren't you? I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Oh, okay, his reactions are all almost too much. Can you see he's, oh. yeah. Yeah. Can you see that it's an all over body thing? Whereas Sam was just the spine. So I think probably as a horse he's quite stoic and he'll just get on with it. Right. right. And this what this might do is be sort of the treatment might be deep enough to just allow him to um, release a bit more when Gina does her equine touch. Can I?